Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we are happy here. West Coast Wednesday. We out here and uh, welcome to Girl Chat Sports with Mo and Mel. Um, if you're tuning in, feel free to share with your friends and have them experience some of the goodness here. Also go to the YouTube, subscribe, feel free to uh, join in on the chat. We've got a couple of great guests coming up. We're going to change it up a little bit. It's the New Year's. You know, we're, we've always had some great guests. we got some great musical guests now, and they are avid sports fans as well. So we're going to talk about that. But we definitely want to get them on. Um, we encourage you to uh, take part in the chat if you'd like, ask some questions. We got a, a, a nice little video and some music to to uh, keep us going tonight on this uh, on the show. So, without further ado, we do want to introduce um, our guest for tonight, Mr. Biz Kitten Butta. Hello, Hello guys. Um, What's good? Good. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Hey, we appreciate you. Listen, um, we, we, we've jumped down the biscuit and butter rabbit hole. And I just so... want to say biscuits and butter. <laughs> I want to say it like that. Like, I want to say it like that. That's how I want to say it. Like, that's yeah, how you want to say it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's like biscuits and butter. Yes. Well, it's, it's singular, though. Biscuit and biscuit butter. Biscuit and butter. Yeah. One biscuit and butter. And butter. <laughs> biscuit and butter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get it right. So, um, without you know, you guys are big time have been in the big time producing game. Um, some big names like John Legend, TLC, Lettucey, Neo, uh, Eric Bellinger, of course, and then the new one you've got, Sean Kingston. There's a lot of names, there's a lot of people. Kind of give us a, a, I don't know, like a cliff note version of how you guys got started. Like, where did this come from? We know you guys are both from Philly. So we're definitely going to talk about some Philly sports, but kind of get us how the two of you got together and had this harmony. How'd y'all even hook up? Let's just right. Going. How'd y'all meet? Was it band class? Was it band class? Oh, yeah. High school. It wasn't. Well, actually, we were in actually the first period class in ninth grade, wow. but we didn't really hang out until like summer of ninth grade. Yeah. So. Yeah, we, we, we met. We met in jazz band. Yeah, we met in jazz band. <laughs> I was a band geek too. I played a clarinet, alto sax. Oh, oh that's amazing! My I still have some skills. So if y'all need me, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen her touch an instrument in how many years. Doesn't mean that I don't know how to do it. Doesn't mean that I can pull it off the shelf and bust a few little notes. Had I known, I would have pulled it out tonight. I don't think I need the reach though. I don't think I need the reach. Okay. So y'all met in high school. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> yeah, right? I need the reasons. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So y'all met in high school. And I mean, did you already know that you guys are both musically inclined at, at that point? Or did you kind of have well, to like, you know? Well, we went to a creative and performing arts high school. We went to okay. Kappa. That's like where Boys the Men and mm. Jack Sullivan. Oh. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, so it was so it was like a, a, a arts based school. So they had drama, dance, singing, inter si singing instrumental. So it, we were, you know, I, I was in the in the concert band, and he was in the concert choir because he was. And a I also major. was in jazz band. <laughs> All right, there jazz, we go. Jazz That's band. what's up. That's what's there up. you go. But jazz band so, is a minor class. So I was, was a major a class. double major. There was no such thing as a double major in high school. <laughs> I was the only one. It was great. You know what I'm saying? I was there by myself being the double major vocal and mm -hmm. music instrumental. Thank There's you. no such thing as a double major. Well, that's what I was. <laughs> So it's great. Yeah. So I play piano. He plays the saxophone. When I got the yearbook, we're, we're going to leave it there. He that. was in the yearbook as a vocal major. It's a mistake. It's All fine. Right. They need to add the slash instrumental, but they forgot. It's a okay. whole picture. They missed you know, the whole not. picture. I didn't All want right. them to have to reprint it. So we're good. <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. We get, we're like this forever. We've been like no, this. I oh, love the love energy. It. I'm feeling it. I love the conflicting stories on how you met, which band you were, which one was a so ninth, ninth grade. Ninth minor. grade we met. Yes. I love. I I love all of that energy that you guys have, and to keep it going for so long, like to keep your guys' relationship as out of high school, like. Talk about like that transition and getting into meeting some of these great artists and working with them and and uh, yourselves with your own tracks. Like, uh, talk about it. Well, when we graduated, um, 
I went straight to the game and he went to to I'm school to, college, to, yeah. to learn everything we need to learn about this business. And uh, <laughs> I went into the business and uh, first, like one of the first like uh, uh, industry things I did was I played saxophone on Deja Vu for Beyonce. Uh, by Beyonce. And, um, and Rodney Jerkins produced it. And while I was working with Rodney, I was I, I got a chance to see him produce and make songs and his other producers making songs and writing songs and songwriters and I'm like oh this is where the money is so when you got into the game who who took you under your wing as your mentor for both of you guys or as as I say like who was the one that caught wind of the talent that the two of you had that pushed us into it yeah yeah probably John Legend okay yeah. really wow yeah, I, was, uh, I used to tour with him I toured with him for eight years playing the saxophone so wow yeah. that's incredible yeah, so we got to hear some of our music. We were working with his brother at the time, and he got to hear some of our music. He was like, all right, yeah, I like these guys. And he signed us to a publishing deal uh, with uh, BMG, which, well, it was Cherry Lane, and then it got bought up, I think. Yeah. Very oh, cool. Wow. Wow. That might that might be too much. Wait too much info. <laughs> all the info in the world. We're trying to give it to you. Well, well, we want it all. We want to I take like it all in. I'm all about the tea right now. So did you did you did you think that tonight was gonna blow up? Like, did you have a feeling that was that was gonna be the one that everyone was gonna bop to? It was gonna be on a featured movie we soundtrack. Knew we knew us. We knew, I mean, here's the thing. John can sing, so it was like everything we were making with him. We were like, oh, this is a hit. Oh, this is a hit. Oh, this is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> but a bunch of those hits still sitting on my computer. So. <laughs> nice, you gotta bust them out. Good. Yeah, so we're glad that tonight came out and uh, we received well by everyone. Yeah, it was cool. You know, I was in the movie thing like a man, and we went to the screening and played six times. We were like, "Is this a joke?" Yeah, we thought they, <laughs> we thought they made a cut just for us. Many times. He, he, he didn't tell you it was gonna happen in the movie. He didn't or, know. Well, we didn't know how many times it was going to be. There. None of us knew. Oh, we know. We, wow. went to, we went to the screen because we just knew, like, okay, we did the licensing and all that stuff. So we're like, okay, we're going to go see the screen in and check it out what they did with it. And it was in the movie six times. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it's a banger. Trust me. I, I'm all yeah, for it. Yeah. I love it. It's a classic. We like to make it classics. Is. It is. It's a classic. Oh, that's, that's like 10 years old. You can still bump don't, it. Don't, don't age it. I don't want to age it like that because I feel like I'm still in that time where it just well, like, we it recently it. came yeah, out because it ages me. <laughs> it was weird. It was the, the, the anniversary <laughs> came up and I was like, oh my God, 10 years. Wow, wow it doesn't seem like it. I, feel like I just was watching that movie. Wow. But that's, yeah, very impressive. And then Eric Billinger, I actually personally got to meet Eric Billinger, uh, did an appearance at my um, former a job at one point um, on an event and very cool guy and the fact that you guys yeah, got to work with him, to totally amazing. Um, what else is um, on the burners for you guys? What else do you guys have going on? Um, well, the artistry side, that's like, that's like it's, it's biscuit and um, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're building it, probably gonna drop a project within the next couple months. Uh, Casamigos was doing really well. We just want to keep the momentum going. We've got a bunch of shows. Yeah, Casamigos uh, is fire. Philly. We got actually two shows coming up in Philly. Yeah, Casamigos is fire. Yeah, oh, I yeah. like it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, and we're going to play a bit from Casamigos. Yes, we got to get into that. I wanted to, just to take it back for a second, with all the artists that you guys have worked with, is there anything in particular, even if you can't say a name, like if there's a most enjoyable moment or the one that you've really enjoyed the most working with, or maybe like a funny story that occurred or one that was more of like the the shocking moment for you guys that was like, yeah, we want to work with you. We want you to produce this, blah, 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 blah. Was there any of those? Or are you just kind of keep it calm and cool and just go with the flow? Um, everybody does, every, everybody's just different, you know, and, but, but we, uh, know what our goal is. So every time we go on with, we go on with people, we kind of try to find it out what it is that they're looking for. We try to find that happy medium. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as far as creating, yeah, it's just, it's kind of like the same thing every time with us. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's the thing. Like, we're going to give you like the best that we can, you know, and really elevate your sound. And that's the main point, you know. So you know, um, I, feel like like, for, I, I was gonna say like the LA, the LA. Right? I mean that, but that's not an artist though. No, no, I was gonna say that no, too. No, no, no. 
<laughs> what were you gonna say? I mean, the thing is, the thing is that we we really um, feel like we've learned from each person and the artist that we work with. You know, at least something. So, like working with Dio, you know, yeah. writing, working with John Legend, like just the construction of music. So, like we like we we like to be sponges as much as possible to really like soak in all the experiences that we have in the studio with different artists and like really appreciate the time that we're able to spend with them. Okay, favorite artist, living or dead? Go. Andre, Michael Jackson. Okay, I'm a Prince girl, so Prince for me. But those okay. are, you said Andre for like Andre 2000, right? Yeah. Okay, and then Michael, yeah. The, I mean, I can't, I can't debate none of those. Mel, favorite <laughs> artist? Living or dead? Well, Prince is amazing too, though. This, this is make sure. I mean, you all know. around. Trust me, we're going on a whole diatribe about Prince, but I'm like, if you guys, if you guys are our guests, you know, we can do a Prince pod later and just go and dissect that, and unpack everything about him. But yeah, uh, man, Mel, I don't, I, I don't even know if I have a top. I mean, like, I love Michael. I love Prince, not as much as you do, of course. I, but Michael for sure. Um, man, so many. I don't. I got. I don't know. I can't even put. I can't even put Andre's names to places. That was an interesting Andre's one to even say, Andre three thousand, because you know I always just think of the rapper influence, but then I just think now I'm thinking about his just whole stylings and who he is, collabs and all that work that he's that done. Yeah, love, that. That, that when they did that uh that to this album that when they and he did the love below. Ooh. Oh yeah, the love below was great. That that's what, that's what I'm saying. Great. Yeah, man. That opened people's eyes to some things. Like yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was... very revelationy. Yeah. yeah, yes. A couple things that I dug down into a into a fire pit, looking at which I want to know more on. I want to know your guys' experience at South by Southwest because I think oh, yeah. everybody oh, wow. in the country <laughs> knows South by Southwest. I have friends that live in Austin, so I know just how big of a thing that is. But for I've the been music to go industry, that forever. I've been I'm surprised to go. you haven't because you I, are hey, that girl. It's on my list. I've been wanting to go next to ACL. That was the one I was trying to do too. But talk about your South by Southwest experience. Uh, it was a little early in the in the in the space of uh, uh, me as an artist, so it, you know it was cool. But it was like some cool little mid play like situations. A couple, you know, it was cool. I thought it was dope. Um, how basically in every single venue when you're walking down the street, there's somebody performing. And like you walk in and hear just all different types of music, and like that to me was exciting. You know, just having like the experience of stuff. it was really cool, and to see all the, uh, <laughs> millions, millions of people. Yeah, yeah that's so many, cool, but, so many people. You know, the, the other part. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get you a little more jazz than biscuit because I noticed that you discussed and mentioned and posted about being on Tiny Desk. Now, oh, listen. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes, because them it. tiny Talk desk performances. It. Listen, but they I started so... blowing up. Tiny desk has been a thing, okay? <laughs> and y'all were revolutionary into that early process. Let me give you all flowers on that. So talk oh, about man. it. Yes. Yeah, we, uh, I, I did tiny desk with uh, Tmar. I just played saxophone, but it wasn't my artistry stuff. But uh, Tmar, she's an artist um, on Atlantic, and she's a uh, one of Issa Rae's artists. And uh, yeah, yeah, we, we rocked that. That was fun. I mean, whether you're the artist or not, I think the performing on Tiny Desk. Yeah, it's got to be experience. Oh, <laughs> that, that's all that. Yeah. I mean, you know, you see, you see so many people doing it, and, and then it's like, oh, you're going to be on Tiny Desk. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 but, so you know, I, but, you know, I've had a long career. I've been doing this for a long time, so it, it's, kind of, it's, it's, just a, it's just a career at this point, so nothing kind of surprises me or or I get too hype about or anything. I am hype about Friday though, but outside of that, what's happening <laughs> on Friday? Oh, yeah, on Friday. Yeah, what's going on Friday? We have a song dropping that we produced by Blanco Brown. It's a country song. Okay. Ooh. So it's our first country song, so we're excited. We, it was this is one of the things that like we were like. We have to do country. I, I don't know why it was like a thing that it was just in us to yeah. want to do it, but yeah. Get into it. Get into it's it. Called, it's called I'll Never. Yeah, it's called I'll Never. I'll Never. Yeah. Well, everybody. Is there going to be some line dancing in it? Like, are you guys going to be line dancing oh, with the nah, guitar? It's a, song. it's a whole video. This is a wedding song. It's oh, wedding song. Okay. okay. Got you. All right, everybody listening and watching and joining the chat. We're going to be I'll ready never. for that one. Friday drops. It drops. That's. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do want to. 
Oh, go, real quick. No, real quick, Mel. I'm sorry. I just, yeah. Do you think you'll ever tap into the EDM vocal house music scene? <laughs> That's most shit. <laughs> it is. I just want to know. I just want to know if you ever cross that. Well, we're open to the production, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll, see, we'll see if it makes sense for his for his artistry on the brand side, but I mean, it's definitely on the production side. Maybe we'll a remix or two. Yeah, man, remix. <laughs> I can get with that. I can get with that. I can get with that. <laughs> I'm with it. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. You gotta let us know some of the people that you like with um that you like after this. I will. Okay, Mel. She got a long list. She got a, a short list. I got, <laughs> and I got a good list. <laughs> um, I did want to just play a quick the little 15 a second video here of you guys with your instruments. So I think that's something that you know we don't see because we're sitting here just chatting. But you guys are amazing artists within just you know being musicians, period, with both the saxophone and the guitar which yeah. I think is dope. We're going to talk about the guitar after this. So hang on. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. That was a good clip. Thank you, it. thank you, thank you. Yeah, I went on the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually in motion, yo. Like for real. Like do it better than me. I'm where, where, where did the key where the key was how did the keytar come about for you? I know you were a piano oh, player. Yeah. What where would this come from? So I mean I, I was able to music direct for a few um people at Philly as well as some major artists, but um I'm always playing behind the piano, you know, and basically I'm standing here the whole time while everybody else had to run around the stage. So I'm like, man, I gotta figure out how I can move too. So um, so I saw basically that uh, Prince, you know, uh, mm -hmm. James Brown, you know, playing the guitar. And I'm like, man, I got I got to figure out how, to, how I can get this as well. I can move around and I want to take it to another level. So I put some lights on it so that you can uh, it was basically lights up the whole stage. And uh, yeah, basically I'm wireless is running around now. I could be on stage running on different sides of the stage with this kid, <laughs> like playing saxophone, things like that. So it was definitely um, definitely something I want to do. And have I like fun. it. Yeah. yeah, the guitar is fire and it the lights is, really is. hit it off. Yeah. All of it. Yeah, it's a highlight <laughs> spotlight. Like, you gotta do. I'm so enjoying this. Yeah, you got to come to one of the shows, you know? Absolutely. Well, I, and I'm mad because you guys went on tour with Bob, but you were in Seattle and Portland. And those, like, I'm from Seattle, so that's my stomping oh, ground. Okay. I'm just like, was there one in Vegas? There must not have been one in Vegas. I don't think I, we heard of we anything. We did four shows. Uh, yeah, we did four shows. Okay. Well, yeah. if you guys are out in Vegas ever, you definitely will we'll definitely need to figure that out because uh, we'd love to see this, this performance I'm live. To come to sure. Philly, too. I've never been to Philly. Oh, yeah. Before. Philly that too. would be the great reason to get Philly on. Yeah, our whole, our whole plan is to give you an experience, you know, during the show. So, yeah. 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 You know, saxophone, singing, rapping, all that. Yeah, I love I it. I know we're doing the show in Philly on uh, March 1st. We're opening for uh, Eric Bollinger. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing there will be some Casa Amigos there for the show. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, I got about a, I got I, I got a clip of the video, uh, Casa Amigos, Bizkit featuring mm -hmm. um, Eric Bellinger as well. But are you in there on the guitar? I got the clip of you in there. I had to make sure I had both y'all in this clip. So uh, <laughs> we'll let everybody enjoy this. This is a this is a banger. Period. I That's love it. it. Man, 
Casa Migos. Casa, 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 Casa Migos. Migos. I ain't going to ever be able to stop with that. If I see anyone drinking Casa Migos, that's all it's going to be. <laughs> Go start playing that song. It's banging. Love it. Yes, good job, fellas. Great job. I Thank you. Say. Yes. Mm -hmm. So cutting into some some sports, you know, yes, we heard that you know, it. from Philly. It's time. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we can start off with your Eagles because you got the first round by. Come on now. Let's go. <laughs> um, first of all, so you guys will be playing the winner of the Cowboys and Bucks. Do you first have a an uh, an inkling as to who's going to win that game and who you may be going against? I don't know who's going to win it. I thought it was going to be the Cowboys, but what the – <laughs> yeah, what? they got spanked by them commanders, boy. Only 17 for 34 or something crazy. And they had, what, their third string qu quarterback in? And you had Dak, all the starters. Third wow. string? Wow. Yes, <laughs> yes. Was it, was the it defense third, second string, too? For who? The Dallas Cowboys? No, for the uh, commanders. Oh, I don't know. I don't they had, know. They had injuries, though, but... Yeah, <laughs> I don't even want to hear about the commanders. You guys have been on fire this whole season. How does it feel that oh, you guys went? First of all, let's let's just start with how did you guys feel when y'all had a winless record going very right. long into the, the only team to have the yeah. winless record? It was a little scary. But I didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't I like it? it. I did okay. not like it. Talk about I, it. I would, I would hate to go. Cause I think it was uh, who else did that? Didn't the Patriots do that? They went, they they like won every game and lost in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, Bills did it one season too. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I would have yeah. hated. It. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I, I would rather have fire. some losses. We have some some like you know things. I mean, hurt got hurt, so you know what I'm saying. That's that's okay. Like that's one. A lot of people got hurt though. But I'm saying, but that was one of the, like the main reasons why we lost. So I'm I, okay. I, I like I like where we're at now. Okay. And then, we, and then when uh. It was one of the one of the tackles. I don't be doing names like that. But it was one of the ta one of the tackles. Got injured You're getting quizzed, Bizkit. Come on. Yes. It was crazy. Yeah. But I just That's hope that Lawrence Lane Johnson is there and uh, 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 Slay. Uh, you know, as long as we just have a couple people, we should be straight. We should be fine. And okay. the NFC is basically running through Philly. So yeah. as long right. as y'all keep well, winning. As long as <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, as long as they keep it rolling, y'all will be straight. I think you guys yeah. will be looking good for that NFC, for sure. Yeah. 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 And uh, if it is the Cowboys, game? you just got to make sure to beat that ass, too, because right. we don't we, we anti-Cowboy around here. So yeah, make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know I like you guys. But don't worry about that. Tom Brady going to handle business with that. <laughs> and then they're going to handle business with Tom. Like, it's going to work. You know what I'm saying? Really? If we get a little rest, that's good, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. As long as you take care of that. Do you guys go to the games? Yeah. Go to the games quite often? No, uh, we're in L.A., so. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't make no you, rest. Know, jet, you know, watch right? all of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well cuz those Philly fans be aggressive too at the stadium. Yeah. They're passionate. They're passionate. They're passionate. They're passionate. They're passionate. Very. Right, right. Very. <laughs> Mo knows about that as a Raiders fan being okay. passionate, very right? Passionate about <laughs> yeah. 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 You know. So are you guys right. as just, are you guys just as big are you guys Sixers fans as well? I think, All Philly bigger, teams? I, think I might be bigger as a Sixers fan cuz Eagles okay. just hurt me for too long, so I kind of disconnected with like Watching them and, and having to be heartbroken for so many years, so <laughs> I so <laughs> I gotta just went and trusted one of the process. That's the process, right? Right. That's right. the process. <laughs> now, how is it, real quick, before we segue into the basketball thing, as a football fan, being a Philly fan, being in LA, like how does that? work with your guys oh, they, don't, they, don't yeah. they don't they don't right they, 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 they throw on the jersey I mean, yeah yeah it's a problem i can enjoy it <laughs> okay. Okay. as long as it's safe smoke you're not getting too hard of a smoke but you're getting no, no, it's not okay. it's not all right i understand it because la you know how it is you know how we are you know, but LA got so many teams, they don't really got one set of fans no, really like they're no, just there's so many teams but well, you know there's two 
Yeah. Yeah, they got Rams and Chargers now. Which, but they still got Raider fans they got Raider there. Fans, you know. Yeah, like yeah. they were here and then they're not. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the LA's loyalty is very thick. And I know when it comes to basketball, you're probably not necessarily wearing that 76ers jersey in La La Land with the Lakers, are you? Oh, we definitely are. We're going to the Oh, 60- you are. You're in our face <laughs> with it, right? Okay. Uh, on the 17th, yeah. Okay. Really, yeah. If, you, if, you want, if you want to see us on the 17th, you know, you'll be at the Sixers game. You okay. Know. <laughs> we know, that, that's I'm most here. team, right? You that's know, most team. Girl, so, yeah. It's okay. like the Clippers, though. We didn't get, we're not going to the Lakers. Nah, I don't. I don't I'm, I'm a Laker girl. I believe purple and gold. I'm, 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 I'm the house that Magic and Kareem and all. See, see, you guys, I probably would respect you if I saw a Dr. J jersey you were wearing. I'd be like, okay, they Philly fans. I get it. But then I see, you know. If I see, like, you know, you got Allen Iverson Iverson was legend. I was a fan of Iverson. Yeah, I can respect it. Yeah, so. Well, no. So how? That's what we wear to the game. So everybody don't get on us because we wear an Iverson. Yes, you have to wear the legends. Like I said, I can respect it if (laughs) it necessarily are the Dr. J, the Allen Iverson. But we see that new stuff now. We see Harden and MB. Yeah, don't put a Harden jersey on. You don't get my James Harden jersey. (laughs) Make it popcorn throwing us anything. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of that, what what what's your guy? What was your thoughts on James Harden coming to the 76ers? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, you know, playing the video game, and he used to always play with James Harden. I, mean, like, I, I always play like, with this guy is going crazy, making all these threes. So, you know, to see him. And then when they said James Harden to the Sixers, it was like, oh my gosh, what? with the jersey? But it was only 20 games left last year, so they didn't have that much time. But the first five games, remember, they won those first five games, and they were looking crazy. Yeah, right. But it was also because the whole league was, like, surprised and didn't know what to expect yeah, no with that. So after they figured it out, it was easy. And then James was slow last year because his hamstring was all messed up. So we got we got new hamstring games this year. He going crazy. He is going crazy. Well, He's like, 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 Twenty-five this? and seventeen, or something like that, right now. The last two games, games, he had a triple double by the third quarter of both games. Yes. Y'all had back-to-back yeah. games this week against the Pistons and balled all the way out. Now, do you miss Ben Simmons? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you asking that? No, no. Oh, I don't know. Is that because I'm, I'm looking at the sure. last two? I'm, I'm looking at the last two games of Ben Simmons because I saw an article that said, "Oh, Ben Simmons on the Nets is uh is is is, is, is helping with their with their success without without Kevin <laughs> Durant." And I'm looking at his stats and I'm like, "He got four seven and yeah, seven. no, he's not." <laughs> He got seven, seven, and nine. What? <laughs> he's a great, he's a great three point shooter in practice. <laughs> right. There you go. That's that's so good. He's six eleven. Like you can dunk with everybody. When he no. passed the ball and Trey Young, as little as Trey Young is, it's definitive. It's definitive. <laughs> I see Ben Simmons with my eyes in the LA before. So we stood next to him. I think Trey Young is what six three. He's like a foot. He like he like an inch taller than me. I stood next to Ben Simmons. I, I don't understand how Ben Simmons has that ball when he is right under the crack. Like he, he they he got the ball. Absolute garbage. I think, I think we might have aspirations to the be rim. NBA players. The rim running. was right there. I, I, <laughs> you, you want to try out? I think you should try out for the Nets. You want to try out? Yeah. I feel like he's a curse word for Philly then. He's an athletic curse word for Philly. The way he, how, he's an athletic curse word for Philly. Like how the oh, yeah, yeah, are athletic curse words. That word. was our year. The Jimmy year and then yeah, that I, was our year. Was our chance. I get it. You just went shoot Man. the ball. <laughs> But are but you guys the, Phillies fans too? Do you guys want to follow baseball? Are you Flyers? Yeah, it was weird. I just gave a Philly fan out of nowhere because we ended up in the World Series. <laughs> 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 yeah. What? I like, it was like, oh yeah, you know that you guys oh, were in the World oh, Series, right? Oh, oh, we're in the playoffs. Like, Let's go to the top. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I see where this is going. You guys like winners. I understand. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, <it's> awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh that man, funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, they're good too. I don't know. Get Flyers. Get all of them. Get all of them. The Flyers. The Flyers are kind of mediocre right now. No, I heard. Did they win like five games in a row, something like that? 
maybe. They're they're at like five hundred right now. The flyers. Yeah, they're fucking. Yeah. They're fucking right now. They're waiting. Okay. They're they fucking right now. Fucking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Philly lingo. I love it. <laughs> so so. Do you well, I mean, you can't say balling. You can't say balling. You say fucking, right? What right, right. That's, that's okay. <laughs> For real. For real. It so, works. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just tuning in, Girl Chat Sports, Bo and Mel with Biscuit and Butter. I love saying that. <laughs> you know, we just having a great time with these guys and are so blessed that they are on our show tonight and just the talent that these two have. I honestly have a personal favor to ask of you guys. And uh -oh. we can talk off camera if you need to, <laughs> if there is a fee involved. But I just was thinking... Um, we need a new intro song, I feel Let's like. Go. Here. Let's go! Let's go! Here, we Let's need a new intro song. Let's go! 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 let us go I don't know the names, but I heard uh, the older yeah, stuff. We did. Yeah, there was this one song we we made called. Can you cuss on here? Yeah. A don't ask shit if you ain't got the bag. But I'm not saying that to you. It was just a song. I was asking you heard it. Well, that is some adult uh, stuff that I don't have the bag. I really don't <laughs> for you guys. And that's why I'm saying I don't know what kind of arrangements. That's why I'm saying do I have to talk off air? We gotta figure it out. We need to talk. I keep it in we'll PC. Talk. I'm Maybe not trying to talk. Maybe monthly installment or we'll something. We figure it out. We figure it out. You can send, you know, feet I photos or, you know, whatever. I, I can send you some merch. I mean, what y'all, what y'all, what y'all, you know, I mean, we got some stuff, but. Rose a stylist as well. She can hook yeah, up wardrobe. I, I, I see your swag, though. I see your swag, though. I feel like, you know, if you need my, whatever, closet I mean, cleaning, whatever yeah, I can do. That works. Out of LA, whatever. But I just feel like we're, it's time for Girl Chess Sports to have a new intro song. Come on now. You guys, this shit is fire. I'm and I feel like oh. you would have a fire song based off of who we are to go into our show. Oh, we need some keywords and you're good to go. Okay. And we know there's a hard drive sitting somewhere that got a gang of stuff on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we're going to make something for you, though. Okay. I, 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 All right. what, hey. what is it? It's just a beat that you're looking for or what? I mean, I could take a beat. I could listen. Gift us a beat with it could be a blessing with you guys want to bless us with the vocals or whatever. Right, else. Anything. Oh, no. Yes. We're not asking for big names. If you got a dope fly beat that's so unique that can just <laughs> get us into our, our zen for our show. We're gonna flow on it. So girl, out, out. So girl would sports, sports, would you want a girl to do it? We don't need to have girls. <laughs> so I mean, we can a girl. I mean I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Hey, we're we're, we're women know. that love sports and talk about it. We don't we right. don't have to always have women on the show or you know, but we support women in all that they do. Yes, yes, we did. So I don't play by the movie if you had a preference or you know. no, no, no. I feel like you guys are the musical genius. You feel our energy a little bit. Just kind of base what you think our show needs as an intro okay. and an outro. Okay. I mean, we'll keep it both. For we just need a vibe. We need a we need a good you know. We need a good something just so unique. Like you know, we hear these podcasts and their beats are just kind of like, and then we know it's getting ready to start. We want something that's like pow in your face. You know, it's girl chat mm -hmm. sports. Because we have biscuit and butter as our producers. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. All right. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> now that you guys have been in LA for how long now? Ten years in April. Okay, so this is, I when I thought about it, I was like, this is like the, this is like the uh, the, the Prince of Bel Air. You guys just took went to Philly, came to LA, doing your own thing. What is it that you guys miss the most about Philly? Since you said you guys don't go back very often. Cheese sticks. Listen, the cheese I know. because I you mentioned to... that, I went down the hole. I saw Ishka Bibbles. That's the only yes. cheese steak spot. That's the only cheese steak spot I went to on South Street. So, uh, yeah, good. Like, good job. great job. Ishka Bibbles was slam. Oh my god, I've never <laughs> been to Philly. I need to go. I, I'm so late to the party, but I really want to try a real Philly cheese steak. There's a spot out here called Philly's Best that's pretty good. Yeah, like they, they that's got the that one over on Decatur. Part. Or we Philly's no. best. They had one in Seattle too. No, yeah, he's yeah. You talking about in LA? They have a Philly's best. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they got the soft bread, the amarosa bread. The amarosa which, bread. Yeah, that's that's like literally that's what, what changes the game. That's what's really? About. 
Yes. Now, do, are you guys chefs within yourselves to make a good Philly cheesesteak or no? Uh, what you say? Are you guys chefs within yourselves to make a good Philly cheesesteak? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no. okay, okay. We know, we know what, what a good Philly cheesesteak um, tastes like. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> well, the key too is that real thin, thin slice. Sometimes they don't do the meat right, and it messes exactly. up the whole. Thing. It's all about the cut. You know, you have to add the salt, pepper, ketchup, mayo. You know, yeah. a little bit of mushroom. You know, some of the. the <laughs> I do a gang of onions, and I leave the mushroom alone. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. You need, you need the grilled onions. Yeah. <laughs> That was some good stuff. Uh, okay. okay. So besides the Philly cheesesteaks, is there anything else out in Philly that you uh, guys are missing? Our family. family? Our people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's tough. That's <laughs> tough, though. Wait, that's all. Just family. Nah. <laughs> you know, I mean, Philly is a grab in a barrel city, you know? And, and they, you know, people get their spot and they slot. That's all they want. And they don't want to see nobody else do it. So... It's uh, you know, when it comes to creating and everything, like every, it's, it's like really clicky. Like we weren't even really, um, in this. It's like like we weren't even really doing production like that in Philly. We were learning production in Philly, but it, it took us to leave Philly for us to really get into it. It's crazy. Well, and to go to LA, like the capital. Of, well, we of, went to New York first. Yeah, we, we went to New York. First. Oh, you went to New York oh, first. Okay. Oh, yeah, New York's a vibe. Now that's my city too. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, we used to catch a path train every day for three years. Even in the winter. In the winter. Ooh. Those winters are brutal. Yeah. 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 The winter yeah. coming out. Brutal. Brutal. Oh, and uh, unbeknownst to me, I was living. I was. They're they're nasty. And unbeknownst to me, I was staying in Soho, and I had not Soho. I'm sorry, in Chelsea, and I had no idea the sub line, uh, subway line closes at a certain time because it's Chelsea, and they don't want riffraff <laughs> late at night. So when I'm out at this underground reggae spot and trying to get back to my hotel, I can't. And my hands are clawed up, frozen, to try to catch a cab. <laughs> and all of them passed, yeah. All of them got cars. I had to wait for an Uber forever, it felt like. And all the Ubers are black, and they all drive the same. <laughs> well, everybody all, in all the crazy Ubers good. were black Camrys in New York. They were all one. I don't know what it was when my matrix yeah. or my algorithm, but I was getting black Camry pickups every time. <laughs> the algorithm, black Camrys, black Camrys. Every Uber yeah. driver in New York had a black Camry, like yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like, they, like in, in New York City, where the cabs are just one monochromatic <laughs> yellow, the Ubers are one monochromatic black. You know, oh, yeah, whereas you Vegas here, it's crazy. You got it. red ones, green ones, white ones, yellow ones. Like the cabs are all different colors here, but there, it's just one. Red, one. Black out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right. Hey, listen, we know we've kept you. We appreciate all your time. Uh, Mo and I will get with you because if we can get that intro, that'll be pretty fire too. Um, but we're excited. Listen, we are jamming Casamigos. We're gonna jam old stuff. We're gonna hit the hit the hit the the uh what am I looking for? The vault to find the old stuff too and oh, get with it. Absolutely. Yes, yes. We're excited for you guys. Look forward to hearing more from you guys and hopefully catching you in Vegas yes. doing a show sometime too. So yeah, yes, yeah. keep us posted. We appreciate it. Hey, man, thank you again. Where that. can um people thank find you. you? Find the show or find the the music? Um, is it on all platforms? I'm assuming. Yeah, but you know, I'm real heavy on Instagram. But you can follow me at b i z k i t b n b, and you can follow me at b u t t a dot b n b. All right. Thank you so much again. Thank you to Bizkit and Butter for joining us. We appreciate you. Have a great night. Thank you. Butter. Thank you, guys. I love it. Man, listen. Now I want a Philly cheesesteak so bad. Look, we need an intro song. We need an intro song. Guys, anybody out there listening, if they have any thoughts, ideas of wow, Bizkit and Butter can produce a good track for our intro, just DM them. Be sure to follow them. And then send them a DM, like, yeah, girl, chat sports. Yeah, get them a track. Get them a track. We need that. I would get love that, something. actually. That'd be really cute. Listen, I there's stuff. Yeah. I, I really, no joke, there's stuff. Really, like, I'm, I'm literally making a playlist on my iTunes if I can find the certain things. and Because it's good stuff. And not stuff that people are, you know, playing out here necessarily, too. Because good to have some new stuff in the rotation. I really want to play Costamigos again. Uh, yeah, definitely. Honest, but... definitely. Definitely, 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 <laughs> definitely.
Casamigos song would be dope. I want to hear the Casamigos song, honestly, as a house version. I was going to ask for that. If I could hear Casa Casamigos. Oh. Casa, Casa hey. I bet you they could pull Casa some of that. Yeah, they could. I know they could. Do, do, do. Casa Migos. I know Casa, they could. Casa, I know and have they a could. house beat with the clapping. Oh, my God. That'd be, that'd be fine. We appreciate them, most definitely. Hey, you guys, I know they're there in the back room. So if you're welcome to sit there and hang out and chill, or you can click off too, it doesn't matter. We appreciate you. But, but I love <laughs> them. They're great. Man, listen, they you are support dope. support all of our artists out there. You know what I mean? Like, music saves lives. And that's real talk. Like, good music, too. And this this is great music. So kudos to them. So, yeah. oh, someone just sent me an article, Mel, real quick, that Oakland A's huh. appear to have made a Las Vegas Strip decision. What? Well, you know they're tearing down the Tropicana, right? Oh, they done out that? I believe so, yes. I think they're clearing the whole Tropicana out. And so they were thinking maybe a ballpark goes there. But I don't know. That was, I don't know. Mm -hmm. a week Interesting. Or two ago. Not sure. Interesting. That's huh. wild, though. I don't know. I, I don't I know. You know that. Um, well, it needs to. I mean, have you walked through that thing recently? I mean, have you Tropicana? Anything? <laughs> Listen, except for Mandalay Bay, and I mean, uh, I have anything in between Mandalay Bay and the what is that? I wouldn't even count New York, New York. Them and Park MGM. Anything in there can pretty much go. <laughs> I girl, I got a list. Excalibur, Luxor, like a few. I don't want to put people out of know. jobs. I but can't. I'm just saying. I know. I as know. long as they give me a place it's... somewhere, they, they can go. But I, I did walk through Tropicana one time. Uh, shout out to Rashad because he parks his car there to get to the games. That's his journey when they go to the Aces games. So walking back, we walked through the Tropicana. And yeah, I understand why they're possibly <laughs> demolishing that. <laughs> totally get it now. Makes sense. Hey, but I listen. Not it. I didn't know. I got you. So, uh, hot topic. We all know DeMar Hamlin is home safe. Yes. He is now out of the hospital, both in Cincinnati as well as Buffalo. He's been cleared to go rehab at home as well with the Bills. Listen, after the Bills performance this Sunday, I mean, can anyone stop Bills Mafia? I know it's not going to be Miami. I Listen. Mark Hamlin's back. Naheem All Hines divine. had two touchdowns, two All kickoff returns. All divine. All divine. You know that movie like Angels it, in the Outfield? Listen, it's in the a, it'll, be the, it'll, be called, it'll be called the Storybook Super Bowl if this goes a, as planned. Hey, maybe we'll see it with the Buffalo Bills and the, the guys' Eagles when it comes down to it in the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, but I want to see a divisional playoff between Joe Burrows and them too. Yeah, as far as it's, it's going to be good. Game. I want to see that. That's what I want to see. It's going to be big. Burr, it's going to be big. Burrows did his cigar again and got swag back. Oh, my God. He looks so good in that video, too. Really? So okay. Okay. He did. Um, but he got his cigar again. Did anybody watch or fall asleep no. during the championship game on Monday? Listen, I over. watched the first quarter, maybe. I wouldn't even say a full first quarter. I did see TCU score their one and only goal. And then I, you know, I saw in Georgia scored first. And I think it was maybe like 14 or 10 or 12, 10 to 7. I don't know what it was the first quarter. I fell asleep. I didn't wake up till it was over. And I couldn't believe that this game went all the way to, to 65 and 7. TCU never scored again. You know, I was watching this game and I saw the high score. And I didn't even know it hadn't been halftime yet. <laughs> until they announced it was halftime. And I said, what? You tell me this right. is like the second half. I think it in my NFL mind <laughs> that it's we're in the second half of this game. No. When they mm -hmm. haven't even completed the first half, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not watching this. And then you so had all the memes. What would you watch? It is what's the uh movie, the glass, the knives, the steaks and knives, the, the onion glass. Glass the onion. Glass onion. That was, that was good. That was I was more thoroughly yeah, entertained good. by that than the game. It was good. It was a good murder mystery was, kind of thing. It, it was, was good. Yeah. It was a good twist. Yeah. <laughs> so one that, thing I didn't realize, I didn't realize how old Stetson Bennett was and that he's older than what, like five or six other quarterbacks in the NFL right now. I thought that was hmm. interesting. Um, and then we yeah. saw Mattress Mac had a little bit of a, a crumbling. You know, he's been doing so good recently. 
he did lose the three point one million dollar bet. He, all the bets. I don't know why they keep they have to bet at like a bunch of different casinos. I don't know if you have to spread it out for a less tax. I don't know what the issue is, but he had a bunch that totaled to be about three point five three point one million dollars bet on TCU. Lost all that. So uh hey, we'll see who he who he picks for the Super Bowl and how much money he puts on them. Should be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I got some Hugadores Locos updates. These are just these are all updates this week because there wasn't a whole lot new. These are updates. So we talked about Phil uh, Baroni last week. How he had mm -hmm. in. I thought I didn't. I can't remember if it was a fatality. I thought the girl had been injured, but apparently she's dead. He had caused about thirty-seven injuries in her and death, and is charged with aggravated um, femicide. What is it? Femicide? I don't even know the word. Femicide. Apparently, in Mexican, in Mexico, in the state of Nayarit, where they were, he can face up to thirty to fifty years for aggravated femicide. Interesting. I, I, I still can't even understand how this. Anyways, and then of course we're back on Mr. Dana, Mr. Slapboxing himself. Talk about it. So today he held a press conference. And um, continued to make his statements about, you know, this has never happened before. I'm completely embarrassed, you know, blah, 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 blah. One of the uh, media that was there asked him, well, is there going to be any kind of disciplinary action by either, you you know, the, the mm -hmm. higher ups or yourself? Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, well, what would you think that's going to be? Because... You know, I think my punishment is enough having to walk around here for the rest of my life labeled this way and having people not respect me oh, now. And that's that's way me. worse than taking a 30 day poor leave. Me. Oh, oh, that's way worse than me leaving really? for 30 days. They don't need me. I could have left in 2016. Oh, then you need to leave. If I leave, and that just hurts the business, it hurts the employees, it no, hurts it doesn't. the fighters. Because Paul is coming back no, with some other better things. Ain't nobody needs you, Dana. And no. we definitely need to see somebody put their foot down. And I will say this. Shout out to the California Legislative Women's Caucus. Because yes. on Monday, this group of ladies, which is consisting of 18 state senators and 33 assembly women, they made they uh, devised a letter and they sent it off to the Endeavor CEO. Endeavor and ESPN are basically UFC's broadcast partners. Both Ari have Manuel? declined any comment on the matter. So they sent this letter off to the CEO for Endeavor, um, asking him basically Are the head Emmanuel, of a major sporting, watch. yeah, uh, the head of a major sporting organization cannot claim to be for the safety of women. While a video of him striking his woman, striking his wife, continues to circulate online without a response from you, which is ridiculous. The and letter describes. Clear. Huh. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. The letter describes Endeavor's silence on the matter as piercing and troubling which is very, very true. The and fact let's that be clear, he grabbed her first and she slapped it. Like if somebody grabs your wrist or grabs you aggressively, you hit them to get them off of you. Right. Or am I, I'm tripping. Then he slapped and listen, her. And, it, and no one he talks slapped about the grab that he grabbed. But he didn't just like slap that. her once. He went, if you saw him on that video, he went like two, three times before okay. being stopped. Not okay. Fighting is never okay. From either party, let's be clear. Fighting is never okay. But you're never grabbing okay. me aggressively where you're hurting my wrist and all that, and I slap you to stop. No. Uh, woman slap. Dana, uh, Dana, I mean, Dana you're going to need a little bit like more than this, Dana White. And you sure you are. And, but that's the thing, the accountability. Your accountability by going on an apology tour is not helping. To me. And the fact he that the people... Is. In Nevada, where UFC is home to the people, the media, even because I watch the news stories, no one is it's trying to it. question him. No one mm -hmm. is trying to make it an issue that you're still having this man who has been videoed and shown being aggressive and assaulting a woman, his wife. Any repercussions for this? I have a theory about what's going on. Talk about it. Well, I don't want to get too it. deep because well, I might it might end up killing me. But I just feel like there's some kind. We of, don't want that, Ma. We don't need I that. No, not the wood, but inner circle. Something of his clout status is not allowing this man to face his judge. Jury, well, and I think I that. feel like a lot of Any those punishment. A lot of those people and persons in the state 
that maybe would have power to do so or even the ability to roast him or put this story continuously in media, airways, radio, whatever, aren't because of what maybe he offers or they get in return in regards to sponsorships or videos or interviews or... But I think I there's know. a little inner circle of uh, something that's yeah, like uh, their own little mob, if you will, that has some kind of, I don't know. The Vegas something. mob is still alive. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Because he's not, yeah. he's just getting a really slap, like, oh, I'm labeled with this. Really? And for okay. him to say that, oh, for me having to be story. looked bad upon, like, that's what hurts me even more. No, it doesn't. Like, it's not affecting if you're your not money. Getting punished for it's it, not sir, affecting you're your not business. Bad upon. How you not? Yes, it's not. There's no effect to your job or anything that you're feeling any humility towards. There's no humility side to this for you, sir. And the cold part that his slap boxing league was supposed to start today. Yes, on the 11th. Yeah. And they and ESPN delayed it one week. One week because Benito. of this. One Benito. week. How about cancel? How about yeah. delay infinity? How about wait until he can make an extreme apology, how he's donating money to domestic violence shelters? How about until he's, you know, doing All community service? All of that. I don't know. Because I bet said. if one of his fighters were to be doing this, they wouldn't have a contract no more with UFC. No. Depending so on how egregious it was and how much the value of the fighter They'd be is. suspended. They probably wouldn't be able to be they in no fights for X amount of they time. Would have that. No endorsement yeah. deals. The possibility they would have that. I just, yeah. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, very uh, last, interesting. Yeah. Last Tugador. I know this is a, we've talked about him for at length on the show because it's oh, been such yeah. a long standing one. Finally. Mr. Bohr is officially gone from the Dodgers. So apparently they had some kind of, um, they had the uh, independent arbitrator and he, she basically cut his suspension down almost in half, basically reinstating him immediately. But they're going to dock his pay for the 50 games into 2023 season. He's no longer a Dodger. Um, the Dodgers had up to 14 days after that decision was made to figure out where they wanted to keep him on the roster. They decided not to. So now he is basically a free agent. Who's taking him? I mean, I know, you know, unfortunately I know he will get picked up by somebody, but that was like a two year or, I mean, this was like a year and a half going on in this ordeal with this guy. <laughs> I, I... <sighs> too much. And I can't way too much. Um, I did want to get into some Vegas news. I know we have a we had a really long we were gonna have a longer show than usual again, mm-hmm. but we'll get into some Vegas news briefly and then get into some wild card and, and kind of move through the show. But congratulations to our Vegas Gold Knights head coach, uh, Peter DeBoer, because he is going to be the Pacific Division All Star coach um, for the All Star game for the hockey. Oh, uh, nice. the, yeah, so Knights are still number one in the in the, yep. in the Pacific Division, which is great. We've had a, a tough loss to the Kings. I think earlier this last week, or maybe it was last weekend. Um, but they, they, the Golden Knights have five more games in this homestead. They had a seven game homestead. So if you want to mm-hmm. catch a game, get out there, see the Knights. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we've talked about our new XFL team, the Vegas Vipers. <laughs> we've discussed where they may possibly play. Land to play. Come to find out, look at how pretty they made this picture look, though. Look at how no, pretty. No, it's well, Cashman. Look at how like, like, pretty hey, Cashman look. looks. Maybe, maybe with the start of the season, by the start of the season, something, maybe they come in and throw some money into it. I don't know. But I know good and well right now, it doesn't look like that. Well, and I shout out to Arlington Lane, the XFL show they got. I know he had mentioned yeah, this only for the, the one temporary. season. Which, hey, yeah. but even for one seat. I mean, you could have decked out the Orleans arena or something. I feel I'm like thinking, I, I, I just don't think it's Sam Boyd. You could have went, you know, you could have went to Bishop Gorman's high school and had a better feel than this. Uh, um, I'm, I'm curious to see how this outlay is going to look when we get, well, to here's, We're here's go. how it, here's how it's working. So they only have five home games. The last one being that in April 1st. Okay. We already know this overlaps the Las Vegas light soccer Right, who, that is their home, but you know they've been kind of be, having a lot more away games lately in the last year under new management and stuff and new ownership. So you've got the Vegas Vipers; they will be there um, 
last home game April 1st. I don't know what kind of playoff scenario situation there could be and if that would require more home games. However, the Vegas Lights have all away games until Cinco de Mayo. That's their very first. That is their, basically the lights get booted. Um, and the and their very first home game is May fifth, which is crazy because, yeah. which is crazy because their first game is in March. Yeah, but remember they were this season was kind of clunky anyway. I mean, I know, but to I have know, what so. one, two, three, four, five, six away games in a row. Anyway, so the lights also are having their open tryouts. Here in Las Vegas, this is the, one of the only uh, minor league soccer teams that you can try out for, no matter what your age, race, skill level. You can come out to the open tryouts January 20th to 29th. The Lights also have had a total of nine Vegas locals that have played and been on their active roster for the Lights. So it's your chance to be seen and to get out. Whew, man. Wild card weekend. Yeah, you said a lot. <laughs> I know. I had to get it out because I was like, man, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait a minute, how are they doing it at Cash? Oh, this is how they're doing it at Cashman. It was just like, hmm, I see the trick. Money talks because, like I said, who knows so what the does. Of it that looks so like for it. it, it I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're going to throw money at this thing. Wildcard weekend. Listen, my boys got in by the. <laughs> By the, By the grace of God, chin, overtime to the Rams, a loss of the Packers uh, by the by the Lions, which they is amazing. They were haters for that. They were such haters for that. That was amazing. For them to even tweet, if we ain't getting in, ain't nobody getting in. Hey, I, I love it. I love it. You I love it. I love it. You love it. I love it. I understand that, that was perfect. Happy. Hey, I but that's what the I. Packer fans, and they're not too happy right now, you know. I hear. Well, listen, Sarah didn't want to come over to the house to watch the game. Of course not. I, Why would I know. I, and I get it, and I totally get it. Cicero uh, was a whole different animal. He was just like I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go with Litzy to the Rams bar. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, well, I would want to be up in a Rams well, bar. I want to do that. Seahawks fan, you know? come on, no. make it make sense, guys. Make it make sense. Um, but shout out to Geno Smith. Listen. He didn't yeah, write I back. saw that. Boy. Didn't write back, and it's officially the single season passing yards record holder, surpassing Mr. Wilson, over four thousand yards in a season. I mean, I don't think that was a hard feat if you watch Russell Wilson. He did a lot of pass I plays. Mean, in the he, did running, he did a lot of running. He did a lot of running too. Running but stuff. Yeah. considering that he is the number one, you got over a few other quarterbacks. I that feel we've like had. the next season you guys get a primo quarterback that'll surpass that. That four thousand yards. And when. Okay, it's it, it'll come and go. But that's great. It was good great for Gino. Uh, don't try and downplay you know Gino's it's... magnificence right now. <laughs> if you call him, okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> um, yeah, it is. Let me get that man his flowers. Good for you, Gino. Let Let's just go back real quick to the playoff picture. I think we both agreed the Buffalo is going to win this one. You got the Bengals and the Ravens. And Lamar's the possibly out. One. Bengals yeah. for sure. You got the Chargers and the Jaguars. Are the Chargers going? Are the Jaguars going to get out the first round? Man, I would love for the But the Char- fact the that the, it's a, because the AFC South is so bad, the Chargers are the away team. It's playing in Duval County. The Jaguars could take it. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. If if like I'm like Detroit, yeah. if I if I can't be there, can't nobody be there. I hear you. We got Dallas at Tampa as well because the AFC South is so or the NFC South is so bad. And I'm rolling with the, Tampa too. Me too. And New York at the Vikings. This one's going to be a tough one, but I'm kind of pulling with the Vikings here. Yeah, me too. And then you got Seattle in and San Francisco. In San Francisco. Good Listen, luck. this Good is luck. why I wore this jersey today because this is the old. This is from the Beast Mode Quake days, yeah, it is beast mode. where I think it was 12 years ago we were playing the Orleans Saints in the wild card. These are the defending championship, a world champion, um, New Orleans Saints. They were the, the tied for the set, the tied for first place or second place in the NFC. Um, I think they came to Seattle. They were a ten point favorite, just like the Niners are a ten point favorite in this game, and we won. Mm. It was a tight game, and we won. So hopefully, this can you know. Granted, we're not going to be at home, but maybe you know, K nine Kenneth Walker can pull some beast one energy. Listen, the guy is hot. He is doing fabulous things on the run. Uh, making it a good a good thing to watch. Now, if we can just 
somehow put pull a rabbit out the hat. It's going to be a tough one. It'll be a tough one. Hopefully it's just not yeah. a murder scene. I just don't want that. <sighs> um, I hope it's neck and neck like the Raiders. I hope they earn it with you guys. But I, I, I hope so I, too. Because really you guys played them well. And you guys they, really did I play them well. To the, to, oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. So I hope you guys get that same kind of kind of uh, spice. I hope you guys can bring it. Yeah. Can can you speak on this guy for me a little bit? I really do. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening here, Mo? Where's the picture? Who is? Oh yeah! Shout out to the Church of. I don't know. Shout out, shout out to the Church of South Las Vegas. I see the flyer on my iPad, but I don't see it on our screen here. But anyway, shout out to the Church of uh, South Las Vegas. Derek Carr is speaking live. This is his first live speaking engagement, his appearance. Um, I don't know if he's going to explain the whole why he got benched or what happened in circumstances. I think he's going to be Derek Carr, Pastor Carr. And shout out to my people, Wendy, uh, Pastor Wendy and First Lady Benny Perez, uh, Wendy Perez and Benny Perez. We had this Pastor Benny on our show, remember? Yeah. For the Lakers. So yeah. this is a good opportunity where we can uh, see what happens. I think this is going to be a packed house. He's doing it all weekend. So he's doing it Saturday, what? Friday, Saturday, Sunday or something like that? I don't know. It's yeah. going to be it, so it, it, intense. It, he He's spoken at this church before, you guys. I, I've, I've cited that you guys can always catch him on Sunday services over there. It's going to be very interesting if he does talk about that. I think it'll be more of an inspirational speech of just adversity and overcoming that. I don't think you're going to get any <laughs> pulling. You're not going to get any like details of how he's feeling about being banned. About that. He, may, he may express some emotions of his season. <laughs> At, but he may not get, you may not be able to pull any teeth out of that. I feel like it's a great media blitz. It's a great, well-orchestrated plan to promote right. his first book. I mean, cameras are going to be on him if they allow it. And the house is going to be packed. House will be packed right. anyway, because it is a very great church to go to and feel uplifted. They do a lot of good community work. Shout out to them. Um, they're personal favorites of mine. I've been to the church a couple of times. Never when Carr has done his appearance, but I've gone for other events. And okay. like I said, it's, it's. I think it's going to be one of those things where he's giving inspirational talk. The parking lot's going to be full, basically. Oh, it no is. It what. is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. I Get there early. It's going to work for Get media. Get a good seat. If media is even allowed to be, you know, would in the, the church system. give out media for that? I don't think so. I think media I would know. be more in the parking lot. I don't think they can go in the church. Or unless you just wanted to go to the church and stand in there and kind of record from your phone, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't I know. know. If, I don't even know if they allow it. I don't know how it works when he's there normally. People, I anybody that goes to church in South Las Vegas, let me know. <laughs> uh, so Derek Carr is going to be one of those quarterbacks. We wonder where he's going to be going next year, just like coaches monday they call it black monday for a reason coaches oh, get man. tired after black week monday 18 right Dominant listen my man. guy cliff clingsbury is gone yeah, from arizona levy yes. smith gone from the texans um the panthers the colts the broncos also got rid of their coaches there's been offensive coordinators from the commanders the defensive coordinator from the browns everybody jets parted ways with their offensive coordinator yeah. today there's a lot, but then you've also got coaches like Sean Payton and Jim Harbaugh that are high commodity right now. They are being yeah. eagerly sought after. And what I thought was funny is someone actually made this a team odds on where Jim Harbaugh ends up next season. Is it with the NFL teams, the Broncos, the Panthers? Is it back with Michigan? Could it be the Colts, the Texans, the Cardinals, the Browns? Who would I you have your money on? Michigan. You think he's going to stay? I think he's going to stay. I think he's staying. Otherwise, I feel like... They can't get Sean Payton. Maybe they could for Cardinals. I don't know. He's he's going to ask for a lot of money. I don't know, but you don't really you don't really have anything in Carolina to keep you to want you to go there. Maybe he'd want to go to to Denver to have Russell and to you know work around him. I don't know, Sean. Payton, going to Arizona, problem. getting out of Michigan, going to Arizona, getting some better weather. Here's you the know. problem with Denver. Denver doesn't even know who their owners are. You know, Walmart family owns the Denver Broncos. Yeah. We just don't know which member of that family owns the Denver Broncos, <laughs> and I think you never will. You just sign the checks, and then not to mention you got a GM. You got. I, I think it's a mess over there, honestly. 
So well, I was and it's a me- and Arizona too. They they the GM yeah. stepped down as well. So they have yeah. no GM. They have no coach. Tyler or Kyler is going to be injured into the season from his ACL surgery. And then DeAndre's DeAndre is probably going to want out. Gone? Yeah, isn't he gone? I thought they announced no. that he was leaving. I don't, I think he wants to be. Uh, I don't think I don't think he's a free agent, is he? I don't. Not that I'm aware I of. Somewhere DeAndre was out, but maybe he's wanting to be know. out. But yeah. <sighs> They're a mess. It's a dumpster yeah. fire that whole season. That's why I couldn't watch that hard knocks. It's too depressing. We know what the outcome is. I'm watching these games in real time. <sighs> How can I spend my evenings watching them struggle on I know. camera? I know. To look forward, have their hopes and dreams of, oh, we're going to win this one. And you know they ain't going to win. I know. So oh, depressing. man. <laughs> um, We'll touch about the NBA next week more, but yes. of course, KD had a big uh, injury. He's got a sprained yeah. MCL. He's out for almost a month, so the Nets are without him. DeMar DeRozan <sighs> got injured on Monday. I think he was out today, too. I'm not sure how that affects them. They're um, all dropping like flies. I still got Carol Anthony <laughs> Towns is still out on his 40. You guys in this basketball fantasy thing, it's just killing me. There's no do it. <laughs> end to the endless amounts of injuries on the these these basketball teams, and it's so yeah. early, you know. Hey, listen. Uh, what I will say though is, so Donovan Mitchell went back to Utah for his first game, and one of his favorite fans showed up. Let's look at this. <laughs> now I can't find his photos. <laughs> <laughs> so that's spider hugging at this uh this kid josh apparently josh for five years straight before every game would come out and wait for um, Mitchell to come through and give him a hug. So this is the first time he's seen him since leaving Utah um, and being with the Cavs to get a good hug. So that was really sweet. And that was cute to watch. Although Utah jazz didn't allow (laughs) Spider to have any kind of fun um, as they did beat him at his return home too. So. eh. Mm. Oh, uh, Fox News just posted too that the Cardinals do plan on trading DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, okay. He wants okay. out, they don't give him his out. Uh oh, Arizona Mo is in the chat. You are Phoenix lying, Mo, you, you are kicking butt in fantasy. Don't believe I, I her. No, this listen, Mo. <laughs> I have two fantasy leagues. I wasn't talking about the Beyond League. I know what I'm doing in the Beyond League. I'm getting You wonder why she's so busy. She's busy in all these damn leagues. I've got the <laughs> other one, my little naughty uh, fantasy league. That's money. That's actual money. That's the money one. So I have that okay. one too. And then I have okay. this Beyond. Beyond, I'm doing okay. You you made me get Kawhi Leonard Phoenix Mo and he's off and on every time it's either game time decision or he's out. I mean, I yeah. he's throwing me through an emotional roller coaster, but he's still giving me points, so I'll take it. But thank okay. you, Mo. <laughs> Phoenix Mo, man. Phoenix Mo in the chat. In the chat. In the chat. Hey, listen, um, I do want to do a couple of special girl girl shout outs for girl power. First, I wanted to give a shout out to Naomi Osaka, who has taken priority of herself and what she wants to do in life over everything else. And she has announced that she is pregnant with boyfriend um, Corday. Is it Corday, the musician? I love Corday. I saw him. Yes. Live. Yes. He's dope. And what I love more really? is the what she had, they, people had a whole article on her. And in that she says, life is short and I don't take any moments for granted. Every day is a new blessing and adventure. I know I have so much to look forward to in the future. One thing I'm looking forward to is for my kid to watch one of my matches and tell someone that's my mom. She also said, I don't think there's a perfectly correct path to take in life. But I always felt that if you love, if you love forward and with good intentions, you'll find your way eventually. And I love that because, you know, people are giving her such a hard time for taking time off or having mental health, you know, and wanting to not be in certain um, matches. Yeah, when she mentioned she wasn't going to do the Australian Open, everybody was bashing her. Not yeah. knowing. This is not knowing. Hi. That, hi, I'm prego. That's why Because people are off. used to women at this age taking in, pri- they're prioritizing their job or career or in this case, their matches or their yeah. athleticism in sports. And right now she's taking advantage of just being who she wants to be, which is love it. Yeah. Gotta Good love her. it. Gotta, Gotta love, love it. it. Mm-hmm. Also, one other one. This one goes to uh, Rachel Lee. 
uh, Lee, yes. I think it is. So she is the Army Senior Associate Athletic Trainer. Um, of course, you probably heard last Thursday there was a, a hockey match where the Army was playing. One of the players, Eric Hughes, there on the right, you can see he um, is a junior on the team. He got he took a skate to the neck oh, in God. the game. In the game, this man took a skate to the neck. Worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. Could you, you uh, watch and and and, and even watching her interview? She basically said that she had saw some commotion. She saw blood on the ice. Immediately jumped over the over the over the the rail, and got there. And they said that because of her immediate response and her first aid while applying pressure to him and his neck until the EMT arrived, that's what saved his life. The yes. doctor even. The surgeon even mentioned that had he got there any, like, you know, five, ten minutes later, he wouldn't have made it. He would have bled out. So the whole athletic uh, Atlantic hockey named her player of the week on Monday. They also, at their game on Sunday, Army gave him a standing ovation, and she was honored before um, that that game on Sunday. So big kudos to her. That is great. Man. I know. I worry about that with ice skating or anything at those places. Oh, just my ankles somebody. can't even do ice skating, let alone deal with it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do no kind of skating <laughs> right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want to do any kind of skating right but now. But yeah, I mean, and we're just that. in a place right now where it's like all these medical issues are happening and people are unfortunately falling and during yeah. athletic plays or at school. There was another one that someone that had passed away at, I don't know what the school Foot was. Foothills. Yeah. Or not, those, yeah, out here, but there's one here in college. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, college, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So sad. It is. Uh, a few sneaker drops, just a couple. That's all I got. Um, the Retro Jordan 1 OG's True Blues. These will be out on the 14th. So that's what? Saturday? Is that Saturday? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then we also got... Um, I don't even know where this name came from, but these are the Dunk Lows, the Montreal Bagels. <laughs> they look like bagels. Do they? With the little seeds on them. Seeds on, I guess. It's a sesame seed bagel. I, well, then that should be called a sesame seed bagel, unless Montreal is known for sesame seed bagels. I don't know. I'm just I'm just curious. They look like sesame seeds. I guess. Um, shout out to Litzy because the, <laughs> for oh, the hundredth time, the pandas are restocking on January 19th, and I know Lissy's still trying to get her pair, so I'm even I'm even chiming in for it. I pray it. that she gets her pair, because these are like the new K-Swiss <laughs> out there. Everybody's got these. <laughs> if they're not these in the van. Speaking of a K-Swiss, I, this almost has a similar look, but um, the heck is the, that? The Adidas Adidas Foam Superstar. These are literally like a slip-on croc, it looks like, but without the holes. I, I don't know. I'm so not into this. I, so I can't. That. And do you see how high that sole is? Like this could be like maybe a good couple inches for you fellas. And it's all white like that. I don't get it. <laughs> and probably rubber. You guys or listen. Too. Go out there and find you some Raph Simmons or something else that's gonna be unique if you're gonna go that way. Like for real. Like those this things is crazy. are ugly. Just give it up. They are. Give it up. Anyway, that's all I got. Hey, great show. Yes. Thank you again to Bizkit and Butter. Yes. Or however Mo wants to say Butter. Bizkit and Butter. I like that. <laughs> Maybe you should be on the intro if they do one and you can just say, shout out to Biscuits and Butter for the Butter. That'd be hilarious. Yes. Uh, but we appreciate them for, for coming on and joining us and sharing their music. Honestly, I feel like we should... Listen to Cost. Let me just get like a little blurb of Cost Amigos on the way out because I feel like yeah. that's what it is. So Cost we appreciate Amigos. y'all. Cost Be Cost back Amigos. next week and um, have a great weekend. And let's yes. go wild cards. Let's go Seattle. <laughs> Come, on, Seattle. Come on, Come on, right. Jaguars. Beat the Chargers. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week, guys. All right. We're out. <laughs> Thank you.